does a lot of dark my plays. He goes insane sometimes. He's the best pimping master. He's also a gaming hacker. He's the coolest, funnest guy. His name is Dark Mike. With offices in over 40 countries, the Belco Corporation trains its employees to face all the challenges a modern office environment and a dynamic business landscape provides. We not only bring the world together, we bring our people together too. There is no I in team. We want our employees to think of themselves as family and to think of their jobs as their mission. Being paid well is only one part of the reward of being part of the Belco family. A sense of belonging, ownership, and pride are the frequent feelings reported by current and former employees. We know the ultimate reward for each of you is success at any cost. And Belco is here to ensure that you become master of your own destiny, a winner reaching your highest potential. The power to be your best is in your hands. The time is now. Hello, Pits and Pitbass. My name is Don Mikey. Welcome to a new Dark My VR play called Belco VR and Escape Room Experiment for the HC Vive and also, I think, Oculus Touch and also the Oculus Server. Server? Service. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, welcome to my new Dark My VR play. But also, I got a question at the end of this gameplay, but I'm going to let you know right now as we speak. By the time I start the game, I'm doing everything early in advance. So I can actually have time to answer the question and all that crap. Because I don't want the video to be long. Because this game is really, really short. So I mean, like, I gotta make it short and simple. You know, so pretty much I'm gonna get this game over with and all that bullshit. So anyway. Uh, this is my what? This is my right. Okay, cool. Alright, and this is my left. Alright, so let's get started with this. So like I said, welcome to my new Belco VR experiment. Um, or escape room experiment. If you do like escape rooms, feel free to put a comment down below and tell me what other escape room games I should do for the HTC Vive. And also, if you do love VR and you also love my channel and such, God knows what, hit that subscribe button and also pimp smack the like button as well. So thank you and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so, so anyway, let me just grab everything in advance. I already know exactly what happened. I know exactly what's gonna happen. So, grab all this. Hey, I'm not on speakerphone. Okay, good. You missed it, and trust me, because you're my best friend in the whole world. I know how much you would have liked to have been there. Gina just yelled at me and was very mean to me. Da, da, da. Reports. But when she leaned over to pick them up, I could almost see her entire... Good morning, Belco uh, employees. Do you hear that? Please give me your full attention. You have exactly 15 minutes to escape whatever room in which you currently reside. To do so, you must solve the puzzles that have been placed before you in your office. If you fail to complete these tasks, you will die. Begin. That's not funny. I'm calling Susan and filing a complaint. Okay. They took less than a few seconds. Shut the hell up. The fuck is that? The, the, 
Something you write with the battery. Yeah, you just saw that in two seconds ago. Like I said, okay. You just give me one second. Congratulations, Belco employee. Okay. Simply flip the switch in front of you, detonating your co-worker's explosive. Do this now, or both of you will die. You have one minute. Do not touch that switch, please! I won't touch the switch. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't worry. I won't hit the switch. I know you do. Say for example, I don't hit the switch. Hey, 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 I, hey. I, I know, say for example, Why are you saying anything? I just wanted to Don't tell you that if I did not hit the fucking switch, you hit the switch and kill me, then your ass will be fucking dead in the first place, so, oh, Oops. You he lied. Bitch, we <gasps> Fuck you. Oh, no. Okay. That's over with. Told you the game was real fucking short. All employees, in two hours, we want 30 of you dead. If 30 of you are not dead, we will end 60 of your lives ourselves. We are not going to entertain the option of killing people. My wife and kids need me. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do that and that. Okay. So that took less than a few minutes. Like physically, it took less than a few freaking minutes. And that wasn't even they ain't took that long, honestly. So I got the question and I want you guys to give me an answer if the best way you can. Now I'm going to tell you what I done so you don't have to really tell me if y'all think it might help, but it trust me, I already done everything the best way I can. So I'm just gonna tell you what happened. So I got this game called Doom VFR. Now I want to play that game more than you wanted to fucking play it, but I can't be able to possibly play because the main reason why if I try to play it this is what's gonna happen when I try to play it I'll automatically will boot it up real quick and then it'll take me right back to Steam VR so I know I'm not the only one who has this situation as well so believe me I'm exactly on the same page as you are if you have that same <laughs> problem as I am but so here's the things I have done I have uninstalled then reinstalled my graphics card make sure it was fully up to date and I made sure I had everything I made sure I disabled the direct Direct mode to my HD, um, HTC Vive, and then I re-enabled it, re-enabled the direct mode to my HTC Vive. Then turn around, what I did, I took the HDMI out of the back of my port from my, um, back of my graphics card and plug it into the motherboard itself, you know, the one that actually has a built-in HDMI with it. I plugged that into it, and, and when I launched up the game again, it launched all the way on, and it boot me off this time. It literally took me, it actually boot me all the way on, I can see it on my desktop. Now, the next thing that has happened, once I have done that I couldn't see jack shit from the headset itself but I can move it rotate it and all that and it will follow the exactly same directions as I'm going on my headset but 
I can't see inside. It's pitch dark. So, I can see what's on the desktop, what's going on during the motion of it, but I can't see on my headset at all whatsoever like I can actually literally see throughout the rest of my VR gameplays that I, no that I normally do on my channel, whatever. So, that's the question that I want to know. Is there a possible way that one of you guys can help me out in trying to get this game up and running for me? Because, say for example, when Fallout 4 VR comes out, that I'm definitely playing that game. <laughs> It's like hands down I'm playing that game when it comes up and also LA and Nora case files for the HTC Vive I'm definitely getting that game that day too and also there's one more VR game and we already know it has to do with fruits just 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 imagine fruits coming to life at a grocery store you got a gun all right there's a lot of hints for there so anyway but if you guys can help me with that situation I can definitely upload a video on that day or the next following day once I get the situation involved um solved if you guys can help me but if you can't then I understand then I'll say the word fuck that game and then I'll kind of figure it out on my own way later on because like I'm trying to figure it out and I've done everything the best way I can well how about you just get a different graphics card and see that might be no 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 trust me if I would have done that waste my money on something here's the thing if I tell you to go do something and then I let it go try it and I waste over God knows how much money you know like 300 400 bucks on a graphics card and then install the graphics card and make sure it up and make sure it runs and shit and then turn around launch the game and does the same bullshit what's the point of wasting my money on something that I can't return you feel me so if I like buy through eBay or buy through Amazon or buy through God knows what I have to make sure I get my money back so I don't want to blow that much money just for that game so I want to start something small before I have to go really big on it you know I have to spend a lot more money and such so that's the, that's the only question I wanted to ask you and if, if y'all do have that question I mean if you do have the answer feel free to let me know immediately as soon as possible so share this with your friends share this with your families share this whoever has an actually um, an HTC Vive if they do have an HTC Vive please ask them that question to help me out so I can literally do this because the game came out in November well no actually December 1st so and I wanted to play this game you know I really wanted to play this game when it first came out but I've been having problems ever since so this has been going on for past five days to six days so far so anyway that's all I gotta say so if you do feel free to let me know and I might give y'all something to return but I don't really know it, it just really all depends. So anyway, all that I just want to say is thank you, Pizza Pippa, so much for joining me. I'll be back to do a new Dark Mike VR play. Until next time, stay tuned for a new Dark Mike VR play. I am Dark Mike. This happened Dark Mike Games. Thank you, Pizza Pippa, so much for joining me. Better come back now here. Keep your pimp hands strong and stay pimping. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. And mosh. Big booty cheese, big booty cheese, big booty cheese, big booty cheese, yeah, big booty cheese, big booty cheeks.